They praised in unison your conquering hand, O Lord. For wisdom opened mouths that were mute and gave eloquence to the tongues of infants. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, so that we may worthily celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have united the many nations in confessing your name, grant that those reborn in the font of baptism may be one in the faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. As the crippled man who had been cured clung to Peter and John, all the people hurried in amazement toward them in the portico called Solomon's Portico. When Peter saw this, he addressed the people, You children of Israel, why are you amazed at this, and why do you look so intently at us as if we had made him walk by our own power of piety. The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his servant Jesus, whom you handed over and denied in Pilate's presence when he had decided to release him. You denied the Holy and Righteous One, and asked that a murderer be released to you. The author of life you put to death. But God raised him from the dead. Of this we are witnesses. And by faith in his name, this man whom you see and know, his name has made strong. And the faith that comes through it has given him this perfect health in the presence of all of you. Now I know, brothers and sisters, that you acted out of ignorance, just as your leaders did. But God has thus brought to fulfillment what he had announced beforehand through the mouth of all the prophets, that his Christ would suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be wiped away and that the Lord may grant you times of refreshment and send you the Christ already appointed for you, Jesus, whom heaven must receive until the times of universal restoration of which God spoke through the mouth of his holy prophets from of old. For Moses said, A prophet like me will the Lord your God 
raise up for you from among your own kin. To him you shall listen in all that he may say to you. Every one who does not listen to that prophet will be cut off from the people. Moreover, all the prophets who spoke from Samuel to those afterwards also announced these days, You are the children of the prophets and of the covenant that God made with your ancestors when he said to Abraham, In your offspring all the families of the earth shall be blessed. For you first, God raised up his servant and sent him to bless you by turning each of you from your evil ways. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. O Lord our God, how glorious is your name over all the earth. What is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you should care for him? O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. You have made him little less than the angels and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him rule over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. All sheep and oxen, yes, and the beasts of the fields, the birds of the air, the fishes of the sea, and whatever swims the paths of the seas. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The disciples of Jesus recounted what had taken place along the way and how they had come to recognize him in the breaking of the bread. While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified and thought that they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones as you can see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, he asked them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you that everything written about me in the Law of Moses and in the Prophets and Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the Scriptures. And he said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hello, everyone. 
So some time ago, a group of elementary school kids were portraying a scene of the resurrection of Jesus in the school's spring play. One boy played Jesus, a girl played Mary, a few others played the apostles and the women rushing to the tomb. There were also a few angels and Roman soldiers. But one little boy had a very simple part. He played the rock. There were no lines, only stillness until the time he was compelled to roll away. And while all the other kids were co wore costumes and learned their lines, this little boy had nothing to do but play a rock, the rock that gets rolled away from the tomb. The teacher felt bad for this boy. She tried her best to come up with an idea for a costume so that he could at least look like a rock. But when she ran out of ideas, she asked the boy if he wanted to paint his face gray and wear a gray robe. The little boy didn't miss a beat. He simply told his teacher, No, I'm fine. After all, I have the most important role in the play. And how is that? The teacher asked. I play the rock. And that means if I don't roll away from the tomb, then Jesus can't come to life. How simple. How insightful. We believe that Jesus has come back to life. And we also believe that Jesus' preferred place to make his resurrection and glory, glorified life manifest, is in us and through our actions. Friends, the simple truth is, he can't come out and show himself through our actions and words until the rock is rolled away. Too often the reality of our spiritual lives is such that with heavy rocks and heavy hearts, we keep Jesus locked in our little tombs, unable to shine through our words and our actions. The trick for us is to find the way to let Jesus shine through our hearts, our lips, our minds, our actions. This can happen if we keep a huge rock in front of our heart's tomb. That rock must be rolled away. And we may not be able to move our rocks on our own. We will need to ask for God's assistance through reconciliation and our participation in the sacramental life of the church. Friends, in this Easter season, why not make it your mission to identify the biggest rock that's blocking the ability of Jesus' resurrected life to shine forth? What is that rock in your life? Roll it out of the way. Ask God to help push. Because if you don't roll the rock, rock away from the tomb, then Jesus can't come to life in you. One in faith, united in baptism, we offer our needs and the needs of the world to God our Father. We pray for the Catholic Church throughout the world. May God guide and encourage all believers in their faith and reliance on Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for the leaders of all nations, May God grant them wisdom and strength in building peaceful communities. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for all who are grieving the loss of a loved one during this Easter season, and especially during this pandemic. May God provide comfort through the hope of the resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. 
We pray for all in our parish community who are sick in mind or in body. May God give them courage as they face the difficulties of treatment and recovery. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for all the faithful departed. May God grant them rest and eternal life. And today we remember Lillian Van Note, Marianne Russo. Let us pray to the Lord. And friends, we offer any intention which we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving God, we thank you for humbly hearing our prayers. Accept our petitions in the name of our Lord, Jesus Christ. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Graciously be pleased, O Lord, to accept the sacrificial gifts we offer joyfully, both for those who have been reborn and in hope of, our, of your increased help from heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day and in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the heavens. Heaven, he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness, Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, 
for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Joseph our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
O chosen people, proclaim the mighty works of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Alleluia. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Alleluia, alleluia. God bless you, everyone. Have a blessed day.